Hi my loves, I tried to put you even further away from me so you wouldn't have to see my tired, red, sweaty face. But alas, you do have to see it um, a little bit closer. Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas. Um, I've just been to a PT session which I didn't take my camera in so I forgot to film. But um, it's probably a good job I didn't because I almost collapsed today. <laughs> um, I didn't manage to get any food before I went and I've been feeding the baby all night so I think my calorie deficit was really much too low so note to self must eat just anything before I go because yeah it was bad but I am definitely just feeling fitter um and like I said the other day it's not that I'm doing any more exercise I mean the baby is getting heavier and I do have to lug her around up and down stairs so possibly that's helping me feel a bit fitter but I just feel and sense that it's like my body is just finally making a bit more of a recovery eight months on um, and that yeah I'm just feeling like more able to do stuff um, my back's in knots and in bits so don't get me wrong I am still feeling the pain of having a baby <laughs> but I just feel more able to do stuff again um, yeah, it must be a combination of holding and tending to a bigger, more active baby is helping me just do a little bit more in the day. But also, yeah, I just feel, I just feel like my body is, is recovering a bit more. Um, and if you think about it, that is a really long time. These things actually do take quite a long time. Anyway, I can tell things are fitting me a bit different as well. Um, but... The number on the scale is exactly the same. So there's just some interesting thoughts about postpartum body changes and how long they take. Like I imagine um, it will continue to talk change for a long time still. Anyway, I'm back at home. I'm gonna go and quickly grab Zach and I some coffees and some food because as I said, I need some food and we won't have time for a lot of stuff from now on because we gotta pack and we gotta go. <laughs> updated you for quite some time but as you can see we're obviously at the farm and that is because yeah got ready packed got the baby in the car did the food shop on the way to the farm and she's a little bit tired and she was a bit hungry so anyway she is having some dinner now and I did some editing in the car hence why I didn't update you there because I was editing vlogmas and I'm going to just finish up now. Hopefully it won't take me too, too long. Um, and I can get it up for you. Hopefully we're going to have a nice chill evening once we've got the baby down. <laughs> Um, you may be able to hear white noise, but we've got no video monitor because somebody forgot the nanny, which is just classic. So I'm I'm using my I did have my old phone in my handbag, and that just shows you I've not cleared out my handbag since we moved into the flat. Um, I don't even know if I told you I got a new phone recently. Not very exciting, but I do often get asked questions actually about this case. Um, this is a Pella case. Um, they do like biodegradable or compostable cases. I was going to send back my old one, but of course I'm using the phone still. Um, and yeah, it's the grip you buy separately, but it obviously this is from the same brand because I was sick of all my pop sockets like popping off because I'm often like rolling over my phone or like whatever um, in the middle of the night and my pop sockets came so I just went with an own brand option and I've really been enjoying that grip too. But anyway, <laughs> I got a new phone. I had my old phone in my bag. Haven't used it for weeks and weeks and weeks, but luckily 
I did because I've set it up, I've set the two phones up with a kind of video monitor app. So actually you technically you should be able to see her but obviously there's no night vision so you can't see her. So that is why I'm not going to turn the white noise off whilst I'm chatting to you. But um, yes, baby's in bed, we are at the farm, food shop is done. Oh it's MasterChef's like make, turn it off, turn it off. Quick, quick! Quick, I can't, I'm not looking. What was I saying? Yeah, baby's in bed, we're at the farm, food shop's been done, so that's a positive, don't have to do that tomorrow. What, what, what are other wins? Oh yes, and the vlog is officially live, thank goodness. So, today has felt like a bit of a fail, because I've just been running like a headless chicken all around the place, and everything was running late, and nothing's quite right, but these things have been done, so, you know, these days happen. But I'm sorry if most of the vlog today is from a dark, dark room because, yeah, I just haven't had a minute to chat. Um, but Zach is finally heating some food up for us. Got a little bit of curry, a little bit of some leftovers. And I think for the next few days, I might stay in the main house with the baby because it's a little bit easier. And we're entertaining particularly because we all hang out here in the main house more often than not. Um, it's a bit easier for her to sleep here. I don't like her being far away from me. So the plan is over Christmas is to have her have naps in the house, if we're in the house, in my mum's room, and then I put her down to bed in this house. And then when she does her first wake up is to like bundle her up and take her over to Library Barn. Um, and we should probably start practicing that, but I don't know. I don't think it's worth it for these next few days. I don't know, we'll see come in does he want to cuddle he and the baby are sort of much more well he was always aware of the baby obviously but she's much more aware of him and much more interested in him than she used to be yes he has come for a cuddle say hi and he's quite he's quite patient and she's quite gentle so far yeah when he needs space he just walks off the brilliance of cats anyway can't wait for my dinner i have not eaten that much today since I had um, my food very quickly after my session this morning. Um, and Zach and I are gonna chill. <laughs> We're gonna watch some MasterChef. I am excited. Um, yeah, oh my goodness, crazy day. ...through to our semi-finals. The critics were not fooled over by Yasmin's menu today. My hair looks absolutely shocking today. Just <laughs> don't know what's gone on with it. I did wash it last night and then tried to do my overnight styling, but I think because it's a bit shorter, it did not work out for me. Yes, my hoodie is on my front. <laughs> uh, the baby started crying, so I rushed upstairs to her or I put my hoodie on because I was a bit cold. And I put it on back to front. Do you know what I've just realised? <laughs> I didn't bring a bunch of my toiletries because I have lots of them out here. They live out here, but they're all in library barn. <laughs> and I'm not about to walk across and get them right now. By the way, I like this t-shirt. I don't know if you saw it properly. Again, this is not the best way of showing you. It says, be careful, there are bears in the forest. But I just kind of like it. I just like the look of it and the colours and it's from Free People, I'll link it up that way. We're coming to the end of the day, so like I just said, the baby woke up and I and I ran out to resettle her. But I obviously wish I'd been ready for bed so I could have just um, hopped straight into bed afterwards and didn't have to resettle her properly. Oh well. So we're going to have to work with what we've got, but we have got a skin longevity long life herb serum and we have got my new favorite moisturizer this dr organic and when i went on the website to look to look this up um because like i said they sent this to me i discovered they have lots of moisturizers um so specifically this is the organic calendula one i think this is what makes it different from the other ones honestly my skin has been a lot less red since i've been using it it's felt moisturized but like i said before something about it feels like clay in texture it doesn't feel like it's clogging my pores um i truly never met a moisturizer like it and i really really like it i'll link it up again for you down below 
it is £10 I think so it's not the cheapest moisturiser ever but hopefully tomorrow will be a bit less crazy especially since we've at least done a food shop so I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow um, we've got a couple more days at the farm after my friends go home next week early next week when we're going to do the tree and prepare for Christmas I think and I imagine that's when we'll do our proper sorting out of the barn. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna have a lion. Excited, gonna get a couple of hours extra sleep in the morning. Just took my teeth brushing break. I can really feel my workout from this morning in the backs of my legs and my bum. I can feel it beginning and if you can feel it the day of, that's when you know it's gonna be bad. Ah, I suppose I'm, I will also have to edit Maybe even two videos tomorrow. Hmm, that's sounding tricky. I can tell this clip's gonna be a nightmare for me to edit because I just like stop talking and stare into the distance for like minutes at a time because I'm so tight. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how we get on tonight. I hope I have a good night. Thank you so much for watching today anyway. My loves, I will see you tomorrow, the start of another fun weekend. Bye.